Okay, it's like uh, 4 in the morning and I'm going to do a little review of something I made over this winter. It may look like a bug, but it's a uh, gyro kite. Auto gyro kite. Here's the rotor head. No rotors on it, but the rotor head, shaft, body. Those are the two control legs. And then the ones on the bottom there are for uh, standing it up, getting it spinning up and then it'll go into auto rotation and stuff. So here we've got the head made out of uh, some, the big part is made out of oak, little part is made out of a dowel or whatever I did and uh, for the bearing, there's no bearing, it's just metal against metal, but uh, you can see I got brass here and then brass in the middle and I, I used a friend's lathe, Bill, uh, I used his lathe to make it perfect and uh, built this all at his house in one day um, so uh, and then the, the it has a little pitch thing here it's going down about two or three or more degrees no more than five way no more than five because if you see that line there that's five and I really didn't want to do that because then it would just not run right um, there's plans for this on the web, um, not website, but there's plans for this on the internet if you look. Uh, I'm going to post this up as a video response to Jplot1. He is the guy who uh, designed this. He designed this one uh, just for people to use and then uh, he's selling plans for a coaxial design. That's just where you have two more rotors and one of them's going the opposite way just to cancel out torque because this one if it's going this way it's going to want to drag it drag the tail to the left so I really hope to get this running very soon I've had it sitting in my house for almost a half a year now so I'm going to go uh, buy some wood uh, I'm probably going to use a yardstick for the blades because uh, I've actually used them on a handheld uh, auto gyro little thing I made just for the just to see if it would work and uh, those blades actually worked out pretty good they were just a little unbalanced so they started to flutter at their high speed and uh, these I hope to balance out and just make them perfect so it runs perfect but uh, if you uh, have a little question uh, he has a, on the plans that just doesn't explain this a bit too well, but you've got a dowel in the middle here, drilled out with this uh, piece of brass, like I said. That brass goes in there. You have a hole drilled through this whole thing, and then these screws go in through the dowel and then stop right as it hits the uh, brass brass tube. So then uh, it locks it in place so it doesn't move anywhere this goes on there and then there will be a pin on, on there like this blocking this from going down and then there will be a pin blocking it from going up and there will be a washer just to help quit the friction and whatnot I really hope to get this running soon because it's going to be blast but it hasn't been windy God help me I wish I had a remote control helicopter that worked but I do, I just don't want to charge the thing, so. That's all there is to it. It looks like a bug, but I can't wait to get it running. Just uh, message me if you got any questions about this. I'll be happy to answer it. Thanks.